Aaron Nias came in as a freshman number one runner, and she was very encouraging to everyone else. It wasn't like she had to be dominant and uh, prove that she was number one. She would help other people and encourage them, and of course, always having her up there number one was a positive experience. You look at people on the outside and sometimes you don't really understand what's going on inside. There, there was a fire inside there that she wanted to be good. And you could tell that every time she got on the track to race, that uh, even the mild-mannered person that she was to, to sit and talk like we are now, uh, when the gun went off, uh, just a fierce competitor. And that's what made her so good. Yeah, she, she was a good student. It's always good to have students that are not worried about eligibility, which we very seldom face in cross country. But Aaron was uh, more of a scholar athlete type person and uh, committed herself. She was in uh, exercise science and also sports management, I think it's a major here. Did very well. She was a little nervous about that when she came in, her grades, but she did very well and uh, continued after Cedarville uh, to get a degree in uh, her doctorate, actually, in physical therapy. I think later on, as I watched her post-collegiately, uh, to see the mileage that she ran was just an example of knowing that if I'm going to get to the next level, I have to do something different. And her coach had her doing more and more miles. We were at a meet down in Tennessee when I brought some athletes down there. and She came out to eat with us afterwards and we were kind of laughing as she told Lydia Wong, uh, the nice thing about doing 100 miles a week running is that when you drop down to 75, it really seems easy. And that was, uh, we just kind of all, I was chuckling about it. Everyone else was kind of in awe that she had been doing that much mileage. But I think the passion she had to try and be the best she could be was evident in that she was willing to do whatever it took. She comes from a family that's driving and, and goal-oriented uh, for that part of it. but. I think the other um, aspect of it is that uh, sh she never would accept anything but her best. And I think part of her philosophy was, if you're gonna tell someone about Christ and that it means something to you, and you're a runner, and you're not being the best runner you can, why should they believe you when you're sharing your testimony? And I think she took that as part of her challenge to uh, really be a testimony in both her running and her faith. Erin Nias Vergara deserves to be in our Hall of Fame because as an athlete, she just was an excellent uh, runner. Uh, what she did for the team uh, with the national championship and what she did as an individual are certainly worthy of being in the Hall of Fame.